create beautiful 360 degree scenes with AI. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Here's a big shout out to Damir Bogdan and also Sam Scott who gave me the idea for this tutorial, but I extended it to also make it usable in Automatic 1111 and even Mid Journey. But of course, let's first look here at the easiest way to use this. This is a website which is called Blockade Labs and the tool is called Skybox. Here you just enter your prompt down at the bottom, then you can choose the different styles here and you click on the generate button. I prepared here multiple scenes for you. So now we are suddenly in one of these amazing valleys. This is in the Horizon Zero Dawn style. It's a computer game, really beautiful graphics. And you can see here that the render is even in HDR. So we have full detail in the shadows, but also in the bright sky. Next, we are in a highly detailed Baroque room. Really cool design. We can look up, of course, on the ceiling, we can look down on the ground and everything here works really, really well. Again, you can look out the windows kind of, but it's not overexposed on the windows. So that's pretty good. And the shadows again also work really well. I love how well the perspective and the architecture works. Now you can see a little bit of a bending when I move the camera, but when you zoom in with your mouse wheel, this is mostly gone. Let's check out one last scene here of a medieval fantasy pub. Really cool little tavern here. The details work great. The materials feel good. And everything here is just really amazing. And of course, one of the mind blowing things here is you can use this with your smartphone and a headset. They are very cheap to get and you actually stand in that room. You can look around. Everything has real life sizes absolutely mind blowing. When you found your scene, you click down here on the download button to save it on your hard drive. And you can also post this on Facebook. But for that, we need to have a fix because these images don't include the right camera data so that Facebook can realize it's a 360 degree photo. To post this on Facebook to see it in 360, you have to fix the 360 data in the EXIF file. For that, you can use EXIF Fixer app and there's an online version you can use. You click here, you upload the file here, you choose a camera like Ricoh Theta S, upload it and then download it. Now, to be honest, this is sometimes it works. Sometimes it's a little bit buggy. There is also an app you can download. For that, you have a Mac, a Windows and a Linux version. When you have installed the software and open it, you see this area here. Drag your image into this area, then select Insert Fake Camera, select Ricoh Theta S and click on Add Metadata. After that, you can post it on Facebook and you have a 360 photo. Now, to be honest, both of these methods sometimes work, sometimes didn't. It's a free tool, so it can be buggy sometimes, of course. Now, before we go on to Automatic 1111 and Mid Journey, I want to shout out also Scotty Fogg. He's one of the developers on this project and he's doing even crazier stuff. For example, here you can see that he is experimenting with Stable Diffusion VR, where this is rendering live in the headset. You can look around and you can see how the scenery is adjusting to where he's looking. And then also users are using the Skybox from the website I showed you before to turn this actually into space where you can run around and explore that with a 3D character. Absolutely mind blowing. So let's check this out in Stable Diffusion and I have loaded an example that I've created Automatic 1111 into the preview of Blockade. So you can over here upload your file and then look at it in the full size of your browser, which is very useful as a preview of your file. And you can see here that this is a steampunk room and the details look great. And overall, it's pretty amazing. Now for this to work, you have to do some preparations. First of all, what you need is a LoRa file from Civit AI. It's called Latent Labs 360. Download that into your LoRa folder in Automatic 1111. And then of course, you want to load this into your prompt. Now I have a video here on how to use LoRa with Automatic 1111, so check that out. Another thing that I'm using here to make this even simpler for the software is I'm using ControlNet down here. And for this, I'm using photos from Pixit.com. 
So this, of course, gives a lot of help to the software. You can look here at different rooms and landscapes and all kinds of things. So click on the image you want. Here you click on the free download button and then simply drag it down here into control net area. I found that often depth works really well. If you want to create cities, you might also try out the MLSD for architecture that also works well. Now for depth, I have set the meters resolution to 1000. So we get a little bit more detail here. As you can see here from our depth map, this is picking up the room really nicely from our original image, but also leaves a lot of space for interpretation with the prompt. Now, another thing that is really important, I tried and tried and this wouldn't work. So here is something that is absolutely very important to do. And that is to click on tiling over here because otherwise, the left end of the image and the right end of the image are not going to fit together. So tiling makes them fit and you have a seamless 360 scene. Another thing you want to do here that is really important if your GPU can handle that, set a higher resolution. I have mine here at 640 by 1280. You can set it even higher if you want to. But still, even at that higher resolution, this is still too low resolution to have a nice image when you want to look at as big as this in full screen or even use a VR headset to look at your scene. So for that, you can either send it to extras and upscale it inside of Automatic 1111. But personally, what I found worked better for me and is a lot faster is to use the Gigapixel AI upscaling software. Now, this, of course, is not a free software, but you can do batch upscaling, can do a lot of settings and it's just much, much faster. And of course, play around with different input images over here. Now, personally, I found that photos work better, but of course, you can also use the 360 images that you have created on the Blockade Labs website as an input for your automatic 1111. So that's super simple. Now let's have a look on how to do the same thing with mid journey. Now here's a result and you can see it is pretty stunning. Now, all of this falls a little bit apart when we look at the backside because it's not going to be seamless, but the details, the colors, the overall scene is pretty amazing and that it even works is even more amazing. So here's how to do that. Again, you want to download one of the photos from that website that I showed you. So you want to have a photo input because this also shows you how this is bending visually. So you need to have a visual cue for mid journey for this to work. After you've uploaded that right click copy link and then you put the link at the start of your prompt, write 360 degree raw photo off and then write the rest of your prompt. For me, as you can see here, I got some really amazing results. Now these have these black areas often on the top and on the bottom. So it's not going to be a complete globe, but I would say that the results speak for themselves. It's really amazing, especially the lighting, especially how photorealistic everything here is. It's absolutely mind blowing. Now, again, the mid journey images, even if they are upscaled, are a little bit low resolution for a full screen 360 image. So again, what I'm doing is to upscale that in Gigapixel AI to a resolution of 6912 to 3456. And this overall can give you some really amazing results to look at. Let me know in the comments what you think. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.